Monica Bellucci made waves at the 64th Globo d'Oro Awards at Villa Massimo in Rome, Italy, by holding hands with her partner Tim Burton while wearing a translucent maxi coat. The 59-year-old actress, who was born in Italy, looked stunning in an all-black outfit as she cuddled up to 65-year-old film director Tim Burton on Wednesday. Monica looked really stunning in the somewhat transparent coat, revealing a dress and black tights underneath. She accessorized her head-turning ensemble with a leather-studded handbag and black shades. The Melina actress looked stunning in a pair of elegant strappy heels and exuded confidence as she flaunted her ageless skin. She only wore a ring and a gold choker necklace as her only jewelry. Monica and the director of Corpse Bride arrived at the event looking very much in love with one another. Holding hands, they paused for a brief sequence of pictures before rushing inside the yearly film festival in the Italian city. The two lovers who were originally connected romantically in February, showed off their PDA while walking the red carpet. Monica grinned politely in the spotlight, her glitzy shades still on. In the meantime, the Beetlejuice director couldn't resist giving the actress a little peck on the cheek as he leaned in close to her. Tim, the former husband of actress Helena Bonham Carter, and Monica, the former wife of actor Vincent Castle, were seen enjoying the event from their coveted first row seats. The Italian beauty received the renowned award to the career, Premio alla Carriera, in her own country, making it an incredible night for her. Posing on the red carpet with the priceless gong in her hand, the raffle star seemed to be floating over the moon. Monica appeared tearful when she went on stage earlier in the evening to accept the award and express her gratitude to the audience. As she was being photographed signing autographs, the former model even took the time to stop outside and chat with her devoted followers. After being rumored for months, Monica finally acknowledged their relationship in an interview with Elle France in June 2023. First and foremost, I'm happy that I got to meet the man, she remarked. It's one of those experiences that one doesn't often have in life. I am going to meet the director. I know this man, and I adore him. A new journey is about to begin. The model raved about Burton's vision having recently finished filming Beetlejuice 2 in London with him. I adore Tim, she affirmed. And I hold Tim Burton in the highest regard. I love this dream world where the monsters are kind, like we can turn our darker aspects into something bright, forgiving, she remarked, referring to his work. Tim Burton frequently discusses that in his films. Although Monica and Tim first crossed paths 16 years ago, it is reported that they began dating in October 2022 after meeting at the Lumiere Film Festival in Lyon. The couple briefly met on the steps of the Palais de Festivals in Cannes in 2006, but it was only 16 years later, behind the scenes of another festival that they became closer, Paris Match said in February of the following year, revealing their romance.